Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode we're going to continue around the rear side of the car here. We started to work on this major vent here. In the last episode we smashed through this honeycomb section um, at the top and the bottom here so we're looking really good so far throughout the whole car. Um, so let's have a go then uh, coming back inside here. So we started to kind of form the bumper around and we started to move around um, to this portion here. So let's just maybe unsmooth the bumper and let's bring this back in. Um, what we could do is, I'm not sure if we did this last time, but I'm just going to snap to this point and this point. Um, and I'm just going to snap real quick. It's not actually going to stay there, but I'm just going to do it um, just now. That bit there is fine because what we actually have here, I'm just having a quick look. Um, is we have this actually sits up a little bit higher so let's go into our rear view here so this actually sits a little bit higher it's kind of hard to see um, let's go for x-ray on here so let's just bring that down so I'm not going too high I think the rest there is looking okay So I'm going to grab both of these and just move them up just a touch and then the same here. I'm also going to grab both of them and I'm just going to move them forward a little bit. This one too, we'll grab that and move that up as well. So um, what we want to do for this then I think first is let's maybe add a little bit more curvature to this. So we'll go for an edge loop and I'm going to drop one in, let's just go right in the center there of this top portion. And let's see in the top view here. Let's see if we can grab that and just our viewports. Bring that in. So we can kind of see where this is going. It's moving just along here. So we can see we're a little bit shy for the most part. Um, so let's go here and take our. Just see, we're going to need to get a good angle on both here. So let me use both views. So we have these here. We can actually see that we are sticking out a little bit more up here. So we'll pull that over there. And we can see that in the top view, we're looking quite good um, on both counts here. So we drop one in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out just a bit further than it should be, only just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab that edge and we'll go to edit mesh and we'll hit bevel and for this we'll maybe add a couple of segments inside and we can see that it's starting to curve around much nicer so I've just added um, a fraction of maybe a bit less than 0 0.8 maybe 0 0.7 and then I've added three segments in there just to smooth that around a bit for us and then what we could do whilst we're up here is let's just add a little bit more to it So pushing all the way out here and then that should allow us to pull that one back just that little bit so we've got some nice curvature to that portion and we also want to do the exact same down here so we're going to go mesh tools we're going to go exactly in the center there we're going to move this out a bit further forward than it should be and then we're going to go to edit mesh we'll hit bevel on this and we'll maybe go three in here as well and just increase the fraction there to something like 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 and I've got two segments inside. So that's going to look quite good there for us. Um, in terms of the side here, I'm just going to add one, which is the same as over here. And that's just going to allow us to add a bit more curvature to that as well. Okay, so we're starting to look nice through there. Um, in terms of the rest, it kind of fades away over here. So I think we'll maybe just leave that to go, to go straight. Okay. That's looking quite good. So we can see that is forming much nicer around that and kind of in the 3D space for us. So let's have a think then about what we want to do here. So let's grab each of these and I'm going to just take all of this and just pull it down a little bit. I'm going to do the same over here. Just pulling it down. Okay. Let's just jump into our back view real quick. And again, I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. Okay. 
And then one thing we need to think about here is obviously these are very sharp, but as soon as we hit three, we're going to start to lose those. So we can add a bit more in there should we need to afterwards. So what I think we're going to want to do here is I'm going to grab every single edge. I don't want to grab these central ones. We're going to hit Control E. Um, let's actually see, maybe we'll do it a bit by bit. So maybe let's grab all the inside, all, all, all the kind of lower edges. So we'll grab all of these in here. And we're going to hit Control E. Um, and before we actually do anything, let's not take them in. Let's actually scale down ever so slightly. Actually, um, maybe instead of that, maybe what we could do. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll have to scale. So let's scale down just a touch, and then we'll scale in just a touch only ever so slightly. So I'm just going to go back here and just move those a little bit closer. Okay. And the reason we want to do that is because there is an additional uh, piece of plastic shrouding in there. So that can be our additional pack plastic shroud. So let's take that and bring it up here and here. I just want a little bit more on the bottom as well. Okay, so that looks like that could be okay. So we've got that additional shroud in there. Um, let's grab our insert edge loop tool. I'm going to go in again, nice and close to that. And let's get in nice and close. I'm going to select all of those new faces bit. I'm going to hit delete. So we've got a gap in between those. Okay. Let's go for the outside, and maybe what we'll do is we'll extrude just the top first. And then we'll link everything together afterwards. So I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to do this in the world. I'm going to pull in. And as I'm pulling in, I'm going to pull up ever so slightly as well. Something like that. Okay. Um, for the sides. We'll do this independently as well. So I'm going to hit Control E on here. I'm going to pull out on the red, and then what I'm going to hope to do here is I'm going to snap this over to our original vertices over here, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to target weld this vertices over here. Maybe pull that one back in just a little bit. Okay. So with that in mind, let's maybe take all of this and just pull that down ever so slightly. Let's go and take all of these edges here. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to take this one down. Okay. So let's just select these. And what we're going to want to do with those vertices is we're going to want to merge these to where the lines of the bumper are. So we can start to see that kind of flowing through there. And then this one, we're going to want to target weld over here. If I can find it, which I can't for some reason. So let's just take this and hold V. And then we'll merge that together. Okay. So we've got a little bit of a gap forming under here, but that's because of all of this. Now we'll worry about that a little bit more in a couple of minutes. So, um, what we're going to do now is let's just hit three. We'll kind of see how this is all flowing for the most part. So we can see that down in this lower portion, it's flowing okay. 
and we can see over here especially it's flowing okay as well. What I am going to do is grab every single one, but I don't want any of these edge pieces. I'm going to hit Control E, and on the blue there, I'm going to take it in just a little bit more. Okay. On this piece underneath, I'm going to do the exact same. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to take away these edge pieces, hit Control E. I'm going to do the exact same here. We'll take that in too. I'm going to take that one in a bit further though, because that's where our actual mesh is going to sit. So we'll take that in a little bit further. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start then to think about how we're going to tighten this up. So first things first is we're going to want to go and grab some edge loops here. So let's go and firstly drop one here and here. Okay. So we want a nice defined edge. I think what we'll want to do is we'll want to drop another one on that side as well. Just to make it nice and sharp. So we can see we've got a really sharp edge that's going to run around there for us. Um, over in this corner, we want this to be a lot sharper, but before we jump into that, let's maybe do the same down here. So I'm going to take in on all sides for that as well. Okay, so now we have that like secondary ridge running around the side there, which is good. So let's go show, um, show up some of these sharp pieces. So for example, we're going to want to show this one up, so we're going to drop one down. And we also want to make sure we do it on the edge underneath. And let's go here and here. Okay, so we can see we've got that little jolt inside there, which looks good. Um, we're going to want to make sure we do the exact same down here as well. So I'm going to grab my insert edge loop, go here and here. Okay. So that all in there now is looking nice and tight. In this corner, I think we want this to be quite sharp. So let's insert edge loop and we'll drop one here. We might want to drop two, but we'll give that a test first. Okay, so that might be okay as that is. Um, we'll see how it goes when we actually get to the, um, the tail lights, but I think that looks like it's probably gonna be okay. Uh, down here, we kind of want to help this curve out a little bit more. And the best way to probably do that is by emulating what we have down here. So let's drop an edge that's going to connect over here and another one that will connect down here. And that'll allow us to grab these points. I'm going to hold V. We'll be able to snap them over here like that. So we can see what that's done for us is that has helped shore up that edge to match exactly, roughly exactly what we have down here. Um, in order to show that up a little bit more, let's grab our edge loop and let's drop one nice and close to there. Let's maybe drop two. One of that insert as well, the extra extrusion that we added. Okay, so we can see that's looking much better as it runs down there for us. And then what we want to do is we want to match the exact same up here. So we'll drop these edge loops in. So that'll help us maintain that corner as well as we go along. So that's looking really nice. Um, I think here we want to insert a loop about this area. So we hit three there. So we've got a little bit of deformation in there. Okay, and then I think the rest is looking okay. Let's maybe grab this one though, and let's maybe pull it in this direction. Something like that. Okay, we've got our smooth too. So that's looking really nice as we go on there. Um, that looks like it's a gloss as well. So let's quickly apply the darker colour to that. And there. So that's looking 
quite nice inside there, so that's looking good. I think, I think I'm quite happy with that. Again, we don't need to worry about this because when we do merge them, um, it won't be so severe. What we could possibly do though, is we could maybe add another line around here on both sections. And then with the polys selected, we can bring that out there just to help that middle section not look so so jagged. Okay, so that's looking nice. I think we're quite happy with that. Um, yeah, so the mesh there looks a little bobbled, but it is okay. Um, I think the only reason that it's bobbled is just because of these extra vertices here. I've kind of gone up and underneath, so let's just go and take those and just pull them down a little bit. And just do the same down there. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. So I'll probably fine tune that in between episodes, but let's go now. We've got another little bit of time left, so maybe let's go and think about getting this in place. Okay. So let's move this into a kind of usable position. Let's get it into a good starting point. I can get the arrow there, so something like that. Um, some of this is covered and some of this is empty. So some of these are deleted and some of them are not. So we'll need to pay attention to that as we go. Um, so I'm gonna pull this out here. And there is a slight rotation to this. Um, so we won't rotate it, we'll do that with the lattice actually, so let's do that. Um, let's see, make sure we're in a point where we're happy with that, so let's go back here. Let's think. It doesn't need to be perfect, we're just a little bit off to the side, but that should be okay. I want to make sure we're central to help with the lattice a little bit more. Um, what we could also do whilst we're there, let's go back into that rear view. I'm going to select that and let's go for this and this and let's take that too. So I'm just going to isolate the selection so we can only see these things and I'll do that in both kind of views just to help us out. Okay, um, in the rear view real quick let's just delete any kind of extras that we won't need at this point. And then I'm just going to run along the bottom a little bit as well, and maybe along the top too. Okay, so I think that should be fine. I'm going to apply the lattice, so we're going to go to form and lattice. And let's have a think. Um, um, let's go. Actually, let's go and um, I think I think five vertically there looks like it should probably be okay. Yeah, I think five should be fine. Um, maybe let's so maybe go twelve across the way there as well. Okay, so let's grab these points and we're going to start pulling just like we have in the past. Um, I'm going to work towards the bottom first, so I'm going to get happy in that bottom region before um, we think about the top. So again, I'm just going to pull these across, just to make sure we're looking good over here. Let's grab these ones and just bring them back a little bit. Okay. And just like before, we're going to go one by one. Apologies for my frantic mouse clicking, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay. I'm going to maybe go backwards now, because as we start to pull the lattice into position, um, it's ever so slightly offsetting what we've already done, so I just want to make sure we're going back and forth here. Okay. Okay, 
So we're looking nice down there. I think we're looking okay at the top for the most part. But I'm going to grab these four central ones and pull those in. And we'll maybe go for the four central ones that are a little bit lower. Pull those in too. And then the next ones will go again. Okay, so we're just getting that slight rotation in there. Let's go for these. So as we're going vertically, I'm just going to pull a couple on either of the points. Let's maybe go for this one and this one. Okay. So I'm going to grab these top corner bits. It's looking okay. And then let's go for these edges here. That looks good. And then pull those ones too. And I think it's just going to be a case now just fine tuning this a little bit. So I'm just going to grab a couple of random, well not random obviously, but a couple of points. That's just going to help offset all of that. So let's have a look through that's looking good. This one it looks like I might have missed or accidentally selected, so let's pull that one back. Okay, okay so I think that's looking nice. That's looking good to me. So I'm going to grab this now and then as usual I'm going to go edit and delete all by type of history to get rid of that. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. So what we could do at this point is we could run around and fine tune that a little bit and then um, we could give it some color in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it the I think it looks like it's glossy so I'll give it the, the glossy one um, in here as well we also have um, I'm just having a look at my references here and we also have some of these that are deleted and some that are not and it looks like maybe from about from about this point downwards that they are. So the deletion really really starts from about here, but it's a diagonal. So it's like this one, and then this one, maybe this one, and then down here. So it's like a, a kind of diagonal selection as we go down. like that and then basically everything in this direction from that point is then um, missing its inside so it goes something like that diagonally down there and then off and then on the other side let's think about the same kind of area it looks like it's about here It kind of goes diagonally down in that direction too. But I'll do that in between episodes, I think. Um, we're going to run diagonals and then come off to this side and then up to this side and then leave the middle section um, with those portions in there. So we can bring that in. So we're looking quite nice in there. Like I said, I'll go through in between episodes and, and fix up the rest of that. Um, 
What I'm going to do now, though, is maybe in the last couple of minutes, we'll start to think about what's going on up here. Um, what we could maybe do is we do have more honeycomb down here, which we're going to want to use. I want to use this in two spots. So let's start with this first one. And let's go and grab all of these faces. So all these interior faces here. I'm just going to take all of those ones too. I'm going to hit Control E. And let's just see if we pull on the blue. That's not looking too bad. I think the only thing we want to do is grab these edges here. those and just fatten that up a little bit. The rest is looking good. Um, let's add an edge loop nice and close. And then I'm going to select all those faces from the edge loop and hit delete. So we now have a nice line running around here. Let's say edit mesh um, or mesh and separate. So we've got these two bits now inside. And then this bit here is going to be for um, a honeycomb grill that we have. You can see that it should be there on the blueprints. You can see it's just here. So let's take that. Um, I'm just going to change the color to give it a little bit of differentiation. So let's put that one on. So you can see the difference between those now. And then when we hit three and three, we should have just a nice little bit of extra inside there, which is good. Um, we don't want these or those. Let's maybe grab all of these edges here. So all the edges that are going around the outside of this. So I'll take all of these. I'm going to hit Control E, and then on the world. Let's have a go and pull those down. And we can drop an edge loop around those as well. We're not going to need all of that. We can get rid of that. Okay. It does look like we have now, though, lost everything that went around here. Unless we have it. No, we haven't. That should be fine. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so let's smooth those off. So we do have a nice section that runs around there. Um, let's take these edges, though, of our previous piece. So just because we don't want any light kind of running inside of this area, we'll grab these. We'll hit Control E, and just the same, pull that down, and we'll grab an edge loop, and we'll drop that in there. So that's just running around that inside portion to help show that up. So we'll hit three and three. So we see there, that's looking really nice. So let's have a go then at um, duplicating special, and then the same again. And then we can smooth those. Okay, so that's nice. We've got a nice little bit of extra trim inside there. And also a weird extra face, which we can get rid of. Okay. And then what we can do is we can grab our mesh here. Hopefully this should fit. Um, I think we did work out for it to fit down here. Okay, I'm just going to bring this into position. Let's maybe go center pivot so we can snap that into the middle there. Okay. Just going to have a go at roughly taking away anything that we don't need. Looks good. And then one last thing I think we'll be able to do just at the end of the video here is let's throw a lattice on this as well. So I'm going to find one side that's looking good, just there, 
let's go to deform, grab our lattice. Um, uh, maybe three would be fine along there. And then six should be okay there. So let's go real quick to our points. I'm going to grab all the points down here because we do want to go down. In there. Okay, I think the rest of that, what we'll do is we'll extend that edge down. Um, but maybe let's just take all of this up a little bit. And then we can maybe grab all these middle bits and we'll take that down too. Okay. So with this, let's take all of these edges then. and low, we'll hit three. And then I think that's looking fine. What we might do is let's maybe grab on the lattice, ideally. Maybe take these last edges, but not the ones in the corner here. Let's just take these top ones. Maybe actually just these ones. bring those up a little bit just so that they feel that a little bit better and then what I'll do in between episodes guys is I will go through then and just refine that again so it fits just like we have around here so I think we'll stop there then for today I think we're looking really good now around the back you'll see obviously how this looks in the next episode once I've cleaned it up a little bit um, so if you enjoyed the video guys please hit the thumbs up if you didn't um, thumbs down subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to delete all by history for this and i will see you in the next one